Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. My name is Elliot Morgan. And I'm Elliot Morgan. No, you're not. <laughs> Let me try again. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Ta-da! A team of medical wizards at Boston Children's Hospital have developed a new piece of super science medical magic. They've designed microparticles that go into your bloodstream and oxygenate your blood even if you can't breathe anymore, like a fish. It's freaking crazy. First of all, Elliot, I have been trying to make a conscious effort not to get too excited about this one. Like you, you you're as cool as a cucumber. And this is, this is a really big deal to me, Elliot, and I kinda wanna freak out about it. Steve, you can, you can do whatever you want, all right? If you wanna freak out, go for it. Be your own butterfly, buddy. No, not anymore, because a lot of people don't know this, but when I get too excited, I forget to take breaths, and bad things happen, like, you know, near death. So I'm gonna go deadpan on this one, okay, Elliot? So here I go, here we go, totally calm. They're saying this breakthrough could save millions of lives a year because it could keep patients alive for 15 to 30 minutes, even in the face of respiratory failure. This is amazing! I'm sorry, I lost my cool for a second. What I meant was, this is amazing. These microparticles are composed of oxygen gas inside pockets of layered lipids, which function like a cell membrane. Scientists took this solution of microparticles and injected it first into the veins of animals who were experiencing critical lung failure. The solution immediately restored oxygen and gave them minutes of life. Dr. John Keir, who led the research team, talked about the previous problems they had in developing this solution. Previously, solutions have caused gas embolism. Gas embolism are when gas bubbles form and prevent circulation. Keir stated, we have engineered around this problem by packaging the gas into small, deformable particles. They dramatically increase the surface area for gas exchange and are able to squeeze through capillaries where free gas would get stuck. To summarize, oxygen in your blood without having to do that whole pesky breathing thing. Even when the trachea was completely blocked during tests, the subjects remained alive. I just, I can't. Steve, you okay? <laughs> this is so exciting, Elliot, but I just gotta hold it in. Just hold in, keep going, Elliot. Obviously, the most immediate benefit of this air and liquid solution will be emergency rooms, but there are also other possibilities, like space or water. You could potentially inject yourself with this and swim with the freaking fishes without all that totally ridiculous looking scuba gear. Did you just say we could eventually breathe underwater, Elliot? We could breathe underwater? Like in the abyss? This is the best news ever. One time when I was a kid, I would pretend to be a fish in my bathtub, but I was a lonely fish because there weren't any real fish in the bathtub, but I held my breath and I was swimming around like a little fishy and all of a sudden I felt myself start to pass out. And with this new liquid, there's a very good chance that I could relive those magical childhood moments in a real body of water, like an ocean or a pond or my friend's pool. Oh my God, Elliot, this is a big deal. Uh, um, unfortunately this wonder drug isn't out yet, but we'll let you know when it's released. Steve? Steve. Okay, well. So if you could breathe without breathing, would you rather swim through the depths of the ocean or roam around space, and why? Let us know your thoughts on the matter in the comment section down below. Also, while you're down there, it helps us out a lot. If you could possibly click that like button, you can subscribe if you like seeing our faces pelt you with news throughout the day. And we have this annotation, you can go to sourcefed.com to see our five daily stories or anything else we've ever done. My name is Elliot Morgan, and that's Steve Zaragoza and was Steve Zaragoza.